attack back again. Um, hoping to get in the scale model garage in the next few hours, guys. Sun's just gone down. Beautiful Queensland night. Nice breeze. So it's just been too hot the last couple of days to go out and paint. Couldn't handle it. So stay tuned, guys. And hopefully in the next video, I'll be shooting some auto wear painting. I'll show you how I thin it for that video request. So I'll see you soon. See ya. G'day guys, Benny Mac back again. I uh, finally got back out here in the garage so I can do this video. Um, basically this is a video request I got from, uh, must be a new guy because he hasn't got any videos up so hopefully that inspires him to get into it, do some more videos for himself. So all you new guys don't be scared to do some videos and jump in there and have a go. So yeah, what a week it was guys. First week back of work, man, half the country's been on fire, heat wave over the whole country, I've been dying in the heat, so, been pretty unmotivated to do anything, I haven't really done anything else to the Charger or any other models, so, but yeah, tonight guys, uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on auto wear paint, how I thin it and how I apply it, so, without ado, let's get into it. So basically we got the pearlized black. Uh, I've already given that a pretty good shake. Uh, I've already mixed some up from the last time I sprayed it, so I'm just going to do a small batch just to give you a rough idea. Otherwise I'll have too much and I don't really want to waste any, so... I hope everyone's had a good week and having a good weekend. So I've just got an old Tamiya bottle I'm going to use. Make sure you give it a good clean out. So I'm not going to need heaps. Probably filled that up about just over halfway. Alright, then I've shown you before. Uh, I've got the Wicked 100 reducer. And all I do, guys, basically just pretty much the same as the nail polish, I've been watching Dr. Cranky thin it, I'll probably just top it up about there, so about two to one. I don't have any set measurements, I'm still pretty new at this guys, so I'm not saying this is a how to, it's just this is how I do it and someone asked me to do it, so more than happy to knock that up, so then I'll just knock, put the lid on, give that a pretty good shake up. I haven't got any flash stirrers yet, so been a bit on the budget lately, but got some good news at work this week. Um, basically the last six, seven months since the recession, a lot of blokes got laid off and they put us back to a five-day roster and 38-hour week, or I used to work 48-hour week, so kind of hurt the back pocket as well. Lost, a f I think it was over 150 bucks a week. So... Got some good news this week, we're going back to the old roster, which I love because it's four days on, four days off, and yeah, can't go wrong with that, I've been doing that for the last probably six, seven years now, and yeah man, it's just like a public holiday every week, it's awesome. Alright, so I've got that done. Um, I'll just mix that in with the stuff I already mixed up. I'll try and get it to about milk like consistency, like everyone's taught me on YouTube. Yeah, I don't know if you can. I'm gonna tip it out. Can't really see in there because of the colour. So, but all right, guys, I'm just gonna stop the video for a second and set up the airbrush and get ready, and I'll be back. So, back in a sec. All right, guys, so I'm back. Uh, I've got the compressor set up, ready to go, pretty much good to go, so I'll get into it. Um, I normally wear my mask, but it's a pretty good breeze going through here tonight, so I'm not going to worry about it for the video, but always wear your mask, guys. I've still got to get myself a proper mask, I just haven't had the money, so. But using these auto air products, they're not as toxic and bad as the rest of the stuff. I know that's no excuse, but... I'll get around to it. Alright, so 
I basically I'm using the airbrush with the 0.05mm tip. Uh, the paint's thin, two to one, two parts paint, one part uh, reducer. And basically I've got the airbrush running pressure set to about 20, 21 maybe. I like to run it just a little bit higher for the pearl, so uh, obviously always check it first. And that's it guys, get into it. Actually I need my glove on, but I'll be right. And I just do a Dr. Cranky perfect pass. Hopefully the compressor's not too loud guys. I took a bit of paint all the way back to the styrene on the last wet sand in a couple of spots, so I might have to put a little bit down in an extra spot just to cover that up. But yeah, just work slowly. Always keep your air running. Never stop. Hit it from every sort of angle you can get to it. And I think I might even turn the pressure up a little bit, guys. Turn it up to about 25. Yeah, that's better. So really, I'm still... I just keep playing around with what works for me. I think it needs more pressure. I bump it up. Uh, paint's starting to run a little bit low, so I'll just top that up before it runs out. Find you get a bit of splatter if you let the paint run out. Yeah, gives me the shits when it does that. Uh, this beautiful thing I've rigged up. My Tamiya paint holder wasn't quite big enough for the one in 16 scale, so I ripped this off a baking dish for bacon and roast potatoes and vegetables and stuff from the supermarket. Works pretty well, so again, just check and this works slowly. Sorry guys, just clean that off before I keep going. And I'm hoping I'm getting this in view for you. Just remember, always try and work with nice thin coats. Keep it nice and steady. And like I say, just keep keep the airbrush moving, guys. And once I've done a bit of a lighter coat, I'll slow it down a little bit. Let that paint start to build up slowly. going to top up again. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it guys. Just work nice and slow. Try not to lay too much paint down at once. Or it just spells trouble or fine. I just like to keep it nice and light. Remember where you finished off from. Probably a bit hard to see because I'm painting black on black, so I'm sorry about that, but you guys get the idea anyway. So hopefully this inspires some of you new guys. Go out there and have a crack. Uh, my first model I just used the Temia spray cans before I jumped right into the deep end. Wanted to make sure I, you know, got a feel for the hobby and like was going to enjoy it before I started investing in you know the airbrush and all the paint and all the other setups so you know I've still got to um get an air, bo air booth uh, spray booth sorry a few other bits and pieces but I'm getting there slowly just working on my technique with the airbrush and 
getting that to where I want it. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I'll finish up off camera. So hope that helps someone. Um, yeah, thanks again for all your guys' helps. Uh, pretty much, I've just got my technique from watching different YouTube videos. I watch six or seven different videos and just take a bit from each one. So, yeah, so get into it, guys. Don't be scared to have a go. Uh, until next time, Benny Mac, out. Have a good one. Hey, Benny Mac, back again, guys. Well, I just watched that video I made back. I'm doing it out here by myself and thought I'd just do another quick spray across so we can see the body a bit better. So, sorry about that. So, hopefully, this time. I'll just check. Yep, yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm starting to get a pretty good layer of paint on here now. Oh, she's ran out. So yeah, that's it guys, just work nice and slow, play with your pressure if you need to, find if you bump it up occasionally it helps out, especially with the pearl paint, so, well, I'm pretty happy with that for tonight, so I'll let that guy dry overnight, I think I'm going to do one more wet sand, and then do a final coat, so, yeah, that's it guys. Have a good one, Betty Mac, out again.